Hey everybody, it's Ru Sims here and welcome back to my channel. <sighs> so in this video, I am going to be giving a quick reshade installation and use tutorial. In my past video, I did on my favorite shaders a tutorial on how to install reshade, especially like the newer versions of reshade was requested. Huge, huge credit to Miss Lollipop Sims. Like that video is how I was ever able to set up reshade in my game. I did post a little community note asking you guys for any questions and I'll be addressing those to the best of my ability at the end of the video. But yeah, let's jump in to the reshade installation tutorial. So the first thing to do is go to the reshade website. I'll have it linked down below and just download the latest version. I actually do need to download a later version. And then when you run the application, you'll see reshade setup and the version should say 6.0.1. So the latest version. And it says to select a game or an application. And for me, The Sims 4 never shows up here. But if you can't find it, in the list you can always browse and you basically need to find the game file so um, for me it's on my external hard drive I go to the Sims 4 folder and then it's in a folder called game and when you go to game you click bin and you can find ts4 underscore x64 because I believe it's the 64 bit version so that is how you get it to run to your sims 4 application if you can't find it in this list just to show you guys if you do have the sims 4 on steam I believe you'll have to go into the steam library then steam apps go into common and that is where you find like each of these game applications for example dinkum application is right here um, phasmophobia is in here as well and when you have file explorer in detailed list view it'll say application and that's how you know that that's the correct thing to do I know that there are ways where you can like use the system dialog or whatever it's called to plug in an exact file location and it'll go there miss lollipop goes over all of those methods in her video if just finding it manually doesn't work for you for me personally finding it manually is a lot easier but if that doesn't work for you definitely go check out their video Video and because they have some alternative methods to track down the game also I forgot to preface this at the beginning of the video reshade does not work on Mac unfortunately um, I never I used to play on an iMac and I never got to install reshade so it was sad there are some other like alternative lighting mods you can download but reshade does not work on the Mac operating system next the rendering API that the Sims 4 uses I as far as I know it's the direct x9 I have not heard any different if anybody knows any different and we're supposed to use like 10 11 12 comment down below but as far as I know it's 9 so then we'll go ahead and click next you have to select all the effects that you want to install I'm gonna go ahead and select everything because that is probably what I need for the amount of presets that I have you can also go into your um, presets folder and the way I keep it organized is I keep all my presets in my bin folder in this folder called reshade presets and once you download it I would suggest you keep it somewhere where you know how to navigate to really easily and then um, you can click on any of these any of these dot ini files and it'll install the effects that that particular preset uses however because I have a lot of presets I'm gonna go ahead and download all of these the more you download the longer I believe your game might take loading up because it has so many effects to compile so just keep that in mind and it pulls them directly from github as you can see here and now it's successfully installed so let's go ahead and jump into the game and see if we run into any errors so we are back with my girl Serena in my current household this is what the reshade looks like on it compiled completely fine I was actually expecting it to have some issues because the newer updates are downloading the event effects directly from github they're like all up to date so we can go ahead and reload the preset real quick just to see what it looks like with and without that was so quick <laughs> let me do it one more time so you can see how the 
reshade applies and keep in mind these are all g shade files there used to be something and even when i had set it up there was something you had to do where basically you had to copy and paste g shade shaders and textures into your folder manually to get them to work with reshade but now i don't believe we have to do that if you guys think i'm missing that step still definitely let me know but this is how my shader looks without doing that and this is how it's supposed to look again i'll have the original video that i used to get g shade working back when it was an older version and you had to do that manual process i'll link that down below in case you guys just want to see it but in general this should be all you need to do to get reshade up and running in your game like it's very very simple so there was also an issue that i encountered i'm gonna pop a screenshot up on screen of something that you may have encountered if you are not uninstalling and completely reinstalling a new reshade version the way i did you may get this error where certain effects are failing to compile and in order to fix that what you have to do is manually go search in github for each of them because if you just hit that first option of just updating reshade then it's not gonna update all the effects i believe there is an option you click when you're um, installing a new version where it also will pull the effects for example if you need the new quint shaders all you have to do is google search it to be honest I'll, I'll link a few shaders down below for any that are failing to compile this should fix it if you just google search it go to the github and then download it and replace it in your shaders folder speaking of the shaders folder because we didn't really have to go in and manually do anything i didn't get a chance to show this off but in the bin the same place the game application is the same place my presets are there is a folder called reshade shaders and in it you can find shaders and textures and within shaders you will find all of these so because a lot of them are automatically in folders for example quint like i was just talking about these are all up to date for me but i want you guys to keep in mind that um, if you are manually downloading any shaders from the internet, you need to kind of avoid duplicates as far as possible. So make sure you are keeping track of what is in a folder, what isn't, just so that you're not like putting something into the main folder that's a duplicate of something that's in a folder, if that makes sense, because that might cause compilation issues. I just want to go ahead and download one folder from GitHub just to show you guys. <laughs> I'm not like a coder or anything, so for me, when I was first like exposed to github i was like where the hell am i supposed to download stuff from you click on this code button here and you can download zip and from there you basically download a zip file from which you can extract what you need for quint they give you this stuff that you don't really need um and then for shaders you get all of the updated shaders here just to compare these are what i just downloaded from github these are what the reshade application pulled for me when it installed everything everything directly from github so it's really really simple nowadays you really don't have to do much to get reshade to work with that let me jump into some of the questions that i got um, on the community post so one question first of all thank you so much for your question samantha i appreciate it there's an error message that says unable to save configuration and or current preset make sure file permissions are set up to allow writing to these paths and their parent directories i do believe that it is a path problem in your folders it might actually be an issue where paths that are in your reshade application where it's looking for your shaders is wrong so something that you also have to make sure of is that this path up here is in the correct folder otherwise again it's not going to be looking in the right place so for me it's in my external hard drive e and it's in the sims 4 game bin and reshade presets folder and in that folder it can find all of my reshade presets so that is how i have it set up make sure that this path is writing correctly again that is just my recommendation from the information that i have um, i really hope it helps if it doesn't definitely comment down below or 
even reach out and I'd be happy to help you troubleshoot as much as I can. Um, I'm not like the most techie person to be honest. I'll definitely do my best to help you get Reshade up and running in your game. But I hope that's helpful and I'm gonna go ahead and try and find some more resources for you. I'm sorry I don't have like a quicker answer because I've just never run into that problem. The other question I got is what reshade preset I am using. Currently, my favorite reshade preset is called Softy. I'll pop the creator's name up on the screen, but Softy is like, is absolutely my favorite preset right now. I feel like I'm just going through phases where I'm in the mood for sometimes more like super bright presets, and then sometimes I'm just in the mood for like a cozy vibe. I'm definitely in the mood for a cozy vibe, and this preset is perfect in my opinion like i just absolutely love it i also like how it plays on different skin tones you can really see like it doesn't really wash anybody out which i appreciate as well so yeah that is my current favorite preset but i do have a few more that i would love to share with you guys definitely let me know if you guys want a part two to that original my favorite um presets type video also a huge shout out to moji for asking for commenting and and asking a question as well but yeah with that guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here please comment down below any thoughts or opinions you may have i love it when you guys comment and i read all of them also don't forget to like and subscribe if this video was helpful and i will see Rue later bye guys